I'm Bill Hall, and I'm for the family. From the studios of Channel 4, it's the Ralph Emery Show. Good morning, everybody. During the next 90 minutes, you'll hear the best in country and pop music. We've got the latest news, weather, sports, and a metro traffic report. Good morning. Thanks very much. Thank you all. Welcome to the Monday, mm, Monday morning Ralph Emery program. Here we go for the first day of a new week, and you're doing well? Good morning, Dan. Good yes, morning. I'm doing fine. Thank Terry. You. I feel good this morning. Good. Got your, you got your coffee and ready to yeah, roll. Huh? Ready to go. Whoop, Don's drinking coffee over oh, here. Yes, morning, yes. Don. Coffee, you're, yeah. you're, in, you're, you're in this morning, huh? Yes, yes. When did you get the call? <laughs> Tell him what time I got. Four o'clock. Four a.m.? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Norm called you yeah. about two and a half hours no, ago? No, no, no. I was supposed to call him yesterday. Oh, Terry. Oh. <laughs> but I was having a little get-together. And I forgot to call him. And I woke up at four this morning. I said, oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Well, don't yeah. not working, Terry. He asked me to call, and I just was doing Norm a favor. Well, why would he ask you to call? Because I'm his buddy. He called you. Why yeah. did he call Don? You're I'm, taking a I'm beating over this, oh. aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Don, aren't you glad you showed up today? Yes, I am. Yeah. 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 Thanks very much. Man, try to do somebody a favor. Where does it get you? <laughs> They're beating you up from all sides. <laughs> Hi, Spider. You doing okay? Yeah, fine, sir. You seem to avoid a lot of this controversy in this band. How do you do that? Why do you have? You learn to do it. Is that it? Yeah. yeah nothing but experience is a good teacher. Yeah. And you know he's not going any further than that. I'm not oh, going to mention a name or anything. I expected a story that, you know, one day so-and-so called, but nothing. That's it. The man's learned. <laughs> Tim, how about you? I'm great. Doing all right. Doing huh? great. How do you know when the camera is going to show you so you can do that wave that you do? I watch the monitor. Oh. And when I see that little red circle spinning around, oh. I turn this way. And well, what if you looked over there? over there now. <laughs> what if you looked over there and Billy was in it? Then he'd wait. Would yeah. you still wave? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we're glad everybody's here. Jerry, you doing okay this oh, morning? Fine. Doing all right? And Kenny, you doing all right? Yeah, Everybody's yeah. doing okay? And, ah, never mind. No. <laughs> <laughs> doing okay, Billy? Doing great. All right, good. Yeah, well, folks, we're off to a, a good start. Looks like a little bit of Maude and Dorothy are here this morning. Good morning. There's, oh, there are beautiful singers. One, two beautiful singers, one handsome singer, I guess. See Brad and Jill Hart. Look at that pretty dress. Did you see that? Isn't that fine? Frankie looks good. Frankie today. Staten's in I like Frankie's gorgeous. hat. Frankie's in a gorgeous outfit and a nice hat. So just things to look forward to here on the program, isn't it, though? Weather this morning looks like it's uh, going to be a partly cloudy day, according to Keith Bilbrey. 70 degrees the high, cooler than we've seen of late, northwesterly winds. Tonight looks like a clear one, 45. And tomorrow... A day of sunshine, 75 and down to 47. The readings at the weather surface now, cloudy and 57. Northwest winds 10, 30 and 04 on the rise for the pressure. And the relative humidity is on the high side, 75%. There are some showers out there this morning. Our Channel 4 color radar is showing what appears to be a broken line of showers that begin in the south in Columbia, work their way up to about Brentwood, and then head off to the east side of Nashville, right up through Wilson County, and then it's kind of uh, parallel I-65 all the way out of Nashville up to Bowling Green, and then disappear just to the uh, north of, of uh, Glasgow at this time. 55 degrees here at the station. That's the way it looks. Let's get the uh, overnight news headlines. With that, Sharon Puckett. Morning, Sharon. Good morning, Dan, and good morning, everyone. Doctors are closely watching President Bush as he rests at Bethesda Naval Hospital, and they're considering whether to give him a short electrical shock to stabilize his heart. The president's irregular heartbeat has not responded to medication so far, and doctors are hoping the addition of a second drug will do the trick. If the president is required to undergo anesthesia, his presidential powers will be transferred to Vice President Dan Quayle. 
White House spokesman Marlon Fitzwater says Quayle is ready to assume the duties of the presidency if necessary. The Space Shuttle Discovery is due to land at Edwards Air Force Base in California later today, completing a mission dogged by mechanical problems, but ending with most of its work accomplished. The deputy director of the Star Wars mission says despite some early trouble with two data recorders, the crew completed about 99% of its defense experiments. The forecast looks good for a landing at 1.49 this afternoon. A severe storm advisory has been reinstated in Bangladesh, where thunderstorms are holding up relief efforts for battered survivors of last week's cyclone. The official death count from the storm now stands at more than 125,000. Meantime, criticism of the government's emergency relief effort continues. A photographer on a relief flight says containers of fresh water were dropped 500 feet from the plane and burst on impact. Police have released two sketches of a man suspected of shooting a local restaurant manager to death early yesterday. Police are on the lookout for a black man in his 20s who is about 5 feet 10 inches tall. He's suspected of killing 25-year-old Craig Alexander who managed the steak and ale on Murfreesboro Road. Alexander was shot to death shortly after locking up for the night. His wife and 3-year-old daughter witnessed the shooting. There is a move underway to wipe out bingo in Kentucky. According to Simpson County Grand Jury Foreman Tony Thurmond, the Commonwealth attorney believes the Kentucky Constitution would need to be amended to make bingo legal. Since there's been no such bingo amendment yet, Thurmond says some officials apparently hope all current bingo operations will be forced to shut down. We'll be back with more news in about 30 minutes. Dan? Thanks very much, Sharon. Appreciate it. See you in just a little while at 23 minutes before 6 now on this Monday Ralph Emery Show. Uh, Alan Williams has walked through. I didn't recognize him with that haircut. Did you? Did you recognize that? The haircut looks good. I know. He didn't stop to say anything to me, but uh, he's, 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 he must be playing golf with him today. He just he just fraternizes with Maud and Dorothy, and out the door he goes. There, I don't care. Right. Alan? <laughs> Alan? Oh, what's it? You hear that? What's Dan saying? <laughs> well, Alan. Oh, oh no! Come on up. Come on up. Come on, Alan. Oh, please, Alan. Come on up. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, no. Well, you're just making the rounds here. You said hi to everybody but me and the band. What, what well, you were talking to Mr. Grimes over there, so I oh, didn't want to Oh, that was me. it. I see. I, is this like part of your morning routine? Yeah, I don't talk to Ralph either. Oh, <laughs> no, I know better than that. I, I just got around to hello to Maude and Dorothy and uh, the rest of them. They were asking me if we're going to do chalk off today. And? I don't know. I haven't looked at the board yet. Oh. I didn't say good morning to the board either. Oh, okay. Well, speaking of chalk off, your hair's off. I got a haircut. Well, how, how did you do that? Uh, we go to barbershops. Uh, I don't know how you do it in Cincinnati, but in Nashville, we go to barbershops here. <laughs> you know, Dan Miller, used to, Dan Miller used to cut his own hair. Well, maybe that's why Dan's in L.A. Did they I, do strange things in L.A. They do. Did I hear, did I hear someone one gasp back here? No. Dan, Dan uh -huh. used to cut his own hair. I got a Miles Barbershop over on Jefferson Street. Yeah? I've been going over there since I almost... First came to Tennessee. They must do a good job. Yes, they yeah. do. Yeah, now is this as short as you've had it? No, no, I've had it this short before. Oh, okay. So this is not like the new you or anything? No, no, no. Well, that's it's a, the same old me. Well, that sure is a... George Jones and myself. Yeah. Well, it blow in your eyes. That's right, it doesn't what? blow in my eyes. Oh. It's out of my eyes. <laughs> Aerodynamic. Yeah, well, it's a good look, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy morning to say hi to it. Well, can I go back and do check You're, sports now? You go check sports, Thank and we'll you. get ready for that. Thanks. There's a lot of big sports things over the weekend, in fact, some right here in town. Let's uh, let's take uh, let's do a break and then we'll come back and get a song from you. Is that okay? All right, we'll be back right after this. It's a day of celebration. It's Nashville's first ever ticker tape parade. Bring the whole family and let's show how proud we are of the men and women who served in Operation Desert Storm. Come welcome home military units from the 101st Airborne and the Tennessee National Guard and Reserve as they march through downtown Nashville. The Channel 4 Nashville Gas Welcome Home Parade. Saturday, May 18th at 1 o'clock. Come show your support and build a memory in your family album of the day America said thank you. It's the Rolf Emery Stupid Pet Trick Contest. Watch the Rolf Emery Show weekdays. Ordinary pets perform extraordinary stunts, once reserved for the home or late night television. Write down the names of 10 of the talented pets and send it to the Ralph Emery Stupid Pet Trick Contest. P.O. Box 444, Nashville 37202. One lucky winner will win a dream vacation to the Bahamas. So watch Rolf and win in the Ralph Emery Stupid Pet Trick Contest.
Nobody does it like Donahue. Weekdays at 9 on Channel 4. I'm attracted to a well-rounded, abundant figure. Men who like big women. Next, Sally. Sally Jesse Raphael, Monday at 10. At uh, 19, before 6 this morning here on the Ralph Emery Show. Ben, you got a tune for us? Oh, yes. Jerry's ready to go. Cabaret. Here's the band. like that when you start hopping. Man, that's a good sound. Very good, man. Appreciate it. Cabaret music, folks, this morning to get us off to, to a foot, uh, foot tapping Monday morning at 17 before 6. Do you have your info on you? What does this mean? Oh, you want to do a break? Well, let's take a break. Today's a new day. Nashville's growing strong. You're feeling okay, here's where you belong. Working together, making things better. Stand up and tell them you're from Nashville. We're for the family in everything we're building for the future. Nashville, we're for you. When we're together, we're better than ever. Stand up and tell them you're from Nashville. Channel 4 News, the only Tennessee news organization to return to the Mideast in the aftermath of the Gulf War. It's the last remaining American POW camp. Channel 4 News becomes the first to be allowed inside. If hell had a national park, this right here would probably be a good place for it. Travel with an oil well firefighting team to experience this environmental nightmare. Join Channel 4 News for a remarkable view of what life is like inside Kuwait after the storm. Tonight on The Scene at 6. Yesterday was a very big day for sports. In fact, the whole weekend was loaded with all kinds of activity. Very impressive stuff. Let's take a look. Here's a mighty long report from Joe Fisher. 
What a great sports weekend we had. The fourth LPGA Sara Lee Classic is now history. This one has most likely produced the most popular winner of the past four years. Hall of Famer Nancy Lopez opened the final round at the Hermitage Golf Course yesterday with a one-shot lead over Chris Monahan. Nancy would lose that lead before the day was over, although she did start the day playing rather well, hitting shots like this one very close to the pin. Nancy had been playing some of her best golf in a long time, and with shots like this, you can see why. And even when she wasn't exactly accurate with the shot, she did get a couple of breaks now and then, like this one that rolls up and hits the flag stick so she's able to save par. There were those who made their charges. Sherry Steinhauer at one point was eight under par for the tournament, faded back to seven under after a final round of 73. The real charge came from Chris Monahan, who played well on Saturday and then the round yesterday, at one point reaching 11 under par, taking the lead away from Nancy Lopez, but she bogeyed a few holes down the stretch, settled for a final round of 70, which was eight under par, very close, but not quite close enough to win the tournament. Still a good effort out. I got it to 11 under, and uh, you know I thought if I could ha hang on to it and keep it at 11, that that would uh, you know probably win the tournament, but uh, just made a couple bogeys coming in and gave it away, actually. That's not totally true. Lopez rallied herself, uh, scoring birdies on 15 and 16, carrying a two-shot lead to the 18th hole, so she was able to just lag it up close and then tap in for the victory, a victory that was celebrated not only by the fans, but an unidentified uh, fan who had a little bit of extra for her. Now, she's almost three months pregnant, but uh, still moves pretty well trying to get away from the champagne. Didn't quite make it, but didn't mind the celebration. To win this tournament, um, you know, it was a goal when I started, and, and of course, you know, playing as well as I did the first day, um, it was just, you know, I was on my way, and to be able to fight it off, because, you know, when you haven't been in that position very much, you feel a little pressure, and, you know, I kept taking deep breaths before every shot, so I was definitely relieved when I finished. It's Lopez's 44th career victory, earning over $63,000. She dedicated the win to her close friend, Heather Parr, a tour member being treated for kids. Meanwhile, on the men's tour, Nick Price won the PGA Byron Nelson Classic in Texas. But the real story was the tour's first use of instant replay. Third round leader Tom Kite hit his tee shot on 11 into the water. Kite disagreed with PGA officials on where he should continue from, so Kite played two balls on that hole, and PGA officials used tape of the TV telecast to determine where the ball had last crossed the water hazard and should be replayed from. It is the first use of golf's new instant replay rule. Two of the NBA's perennial powers were pushed to the limit in the first round of the playoffs by two up-and-coming teams. In both cases, though, the veterans won out and now face each other in the second round. First, the Boston Celtics got a real scare against Indiana when Larry Bird left the game with a possible broken cheekbone. He came back in the third quarter and came back with a vengeance, leading the Celtics to a 42-point third quarter. Bird had 34 points on the day. Still, the Pacers rally cut the lead to two with 10 seconds to go when Chuck Person Tried to catch all the glory and cash in the three-pointer to win it. He came up short, and Bird had won the personal battle with his rival person. Uh, yeah, it is a little special because um, I've known Chuck for a while, and we've always had run-ins, but uh, it always seems like I, I get the last word. And his last word to Chuck was, be sure and watch me on TV because we're still playing and you're not. Celtics won at 124-121 to win the series 3-2. Detroit over Atlanta won 13-81 to win that series 3-2, so now Boston and Detroit will face each other in the second round. Second round series began last night. The Lakers beating Golden State 126-116 to take a 1-0 lead in that series. Our Nashville Sounds won the game yesterday with Louisville, but lost slugger Terry Lee, who was called up by the Cincinnati Reds. In return, the Reds sent outfielder Chris Jones back to Nashville after three at-bats and one hit with Cincinnati. Nashville won it by a score of 9-2. Those two will wrap up their series at Greer Stadium tonight. In the National League, Cincinnati beat the Cardinals 4-2. Cubs over Atlanta 9-6. Padres 6-3 over Montreal. Dodgers beat Philadelphia 3-2. Houston over Pittsburgh 6-4. San Francisco beat the Mets 2-0. In the American League, Boston over Chicago 9-1. Detroit beat Texas 8-7. Toronto over Kansas City 3-0. Minnesota, <coughs> Minnesota over Milwaukee 5-2 in 10 innings. Cleveland beat Oakland 15-6. California over Baltimore 6-4. <coughs> Excuse me again. College uh, baseball, Vanderbilt over LSU, 11 to 5, and Murray State beat MTSU, 4 to 3. And that's a look at sports. Now let's go back to the show. I guess we finished just in time. Old Joe is on his way out. He's had it in the throat, I guess, for about a couple weeks. I'm still waiting for it to clear. 
Thanks for the extended sports report there, Joe. It's a lot of stuff. Ten before six this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Leon Grimes is here this morning with his Monday uh, consumer report. <laughs> I'd, you sat down and everybody started complaining that you were they getting already. more, yeah, more airtime than Tommy Lewis. I don't understand why. There is what a rule. R Leon, there is a rule. Don't talk when the host is talking, I okay? And, and don't say the same things he's saying. <laughs> When he started saying everything I was saying, I was starting to get paranoid. Don't! <laughs> there, there's some guy who does that, uh, some character, you know, who talks when you say something. I forget. Yeah. Uh, you better pull your plug. They're going to yeah, really drive the nuts now. But the subject <laughs> is patents. Folks who How have... Do... Folks who have... Oh, no, you go right ahead. I'm just go ahead. slowing I'm sorry, you down. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Folks who have, what, ideas about how to... Uh, to get things done, uh -huh. they have an idea how Inventions. to... An invention. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh-huh. Um, I've come up with a, um, an invention of my own, and of course a lot of people here at the station has too. Ken Hicks has got a good yeah. idea. Yes? I'm sorry, but your, your invention uh, of spinning the wheel didn't come through. Oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. No. What it, I like to do is tell everybody how to get these things done, and uh, some of the money it's going to cost to get it done. Uh -huh. uh, I'd like to show one of mine right now. If Mark Perry rolled the tape. Um, oh, we have tape? There's a tape of one that Let's I've come up with. Yeah. Tape. Can you roll that with Mark? Okay. The audio's okay. there, too. The idea here is uh, to save time ironing. Uh, this attachment will uh, enable you to use the entire surface of your board. Uh, this attachment will, will fit most ironing boards. It will slide it down in this groove here. I will demonstrate that to you. Okay. It's so simple that anyone can use. Basically, you just have the arm and the tray. You unscrew the wing nut, you mount the uh, screw through the opening there, put your wing nut back into, or screw it back up on your tray there, okay? At the same time, you can swivel this to fit underneath your board. Hey, this is going to fit a specific object. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see. where, where am I'm I? start right here. You see this one? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, this atta attachment will enable you to use the full size uh, top of your ironing board. It also comes with other adapters such that you can put your spray bottles on top of here. And uh, also, uh, you can also move the iron in and adjust it to, and pivot to whatever position you want the iron in. Uh, it's easy to snap off. You just reach down and, and it slides right off the uh, uh, pressure clamp there. Uh, Makes it a lot easier to iron. When you get done with it, just snap it right back on top of the top of your plate, um, and go right on with your with the ironing. How am I doing so far? Pretty good, Liam. Okay. Um, <clears throat> also, when you when you're doing your shirts, you know how hard it is to do shirts, and you got your iron set in the way. This way, you can use all of the ironing board again, as I said earlier, and. Uh, Swivel it in such that you can uh, make your adjustments here. Because the band's going to give me a rating. Uh, it won't fall over. As a matter of fact, it's pretty sturdy. The bracket keeps it in place, and you can also tighten it up as you need it or lock it in place where it won't move at all. There, <laughs> there's the rating by the band. A three, a five, a six, four, three, and a ten from Billy. Congratulations, okay, Leon. This idea came about when you lose a lot of ironing boards. You know, you get uh -huh. tired of iron. I mean, not ironing boards, but irons when they fall on the floor. Yes. And that's how they came about. But the original uh, search is like $500. I've spent probably about $4,000 on this already. Uh -huh. um, I'd like to show Ed Landquist is the attorney. Uh, if you're interested in having something patent, um, you might want to call these people here and ask for Ed Landquist, and uh, he can help you out as to how to get something patent so an attorney cost is is necessary here to protect your idea okay yes and so don't give up get in there and get it done well right? thank you dan well we yeah. hope that goes well and for you well thank you so much Joe. Are, go, are you done yet <laughs> I, yeah. I, I what was the ratings on that wouldn't i get stay out of your way <laughs> It was, oh, it was a six. six average. I think that's pretty that's strong. That's not too bad. Okay. I, you have an 800 number yet? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> it's coming up soon. I think the next thing you want to start on is somebody who has a new method of tape editing. You might consider that. That, that may yeah. help, yes. It looked like that was... Uh, that was Mark Perry edited that out. Oh, I well, I realize. It was, it was a rough cut. You're trying to get it done. Nice, <laughs> nice job. We appreciate it. What? Okay. Oh, there, there's more, Keith? There's more of that?
Okay, there must be more There's, coming up more? here. Let's let's take a look. Let's there take there a must look. There is no more. There's no more. There is no more. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> we have a picture of one of our there. Oh, there she. Uh, oh, she woke up. Frankie was apparently catching a little nap during that demonstration. Frankie, did you do that in school a lot? Did you nap during during class? Thank, well, we need to get to a commercial break. And we'll do that next. All right. Yeah, let's it's very tape. interesting, Leon. Thank Appreciate you. that. Good luck on that. Well, and folks so who have other patents of inventions you'd like to give a try, there's some wise advice for you. And we had some fun with you, too. Thank I you. hope you don't mind. <laughs> Four before six now here on the program. And, uh, oh, you, I thought you he was, the tape oh, he's, he's, on, he's on tape. Oh, the tape comes first. We got the, uh, the hearts on the way, but first this word. May is a special month on Channel 4 News. Channel 4 returns to Kuwait and becomes the only television station allowed inside a POW camp. Be there when Channel 4 follows a 29-year-old woman into triple cosmetic surgery as Dimitri Kalodimos investigates everything from breast implants to questionable operations. Experience racial attitudes in the Mid-South in 1991. Get behind the camera as an interracial couple goes to a Nashville mall. May is a special month on Channel 4 News. It's Channel 4's wonderful Wheel World Contest, Nashville's most fabulous trip contest ever. Win the trip of a lifetime to one of the four corners of the globe. Take an exciting African safari. Travel down under to Australia and the exotic South Pacific. Dine your way across gourmet France or take an enchanting journey on the Orient Express. Just watch Wheel of Fortune and write down each day's first puzzle. When you have ten puzzles, send them in for your chance to win. So watch Wheel of Fortune to win in Nashville's most wonderful Wheel World Contest. Be there for the Channel 4 Nashville Gas Welcome Home Parade, May 18th. Good morning. I'm here with Frank Graves, and we're here at Your Furniture Center. Actually, we're at the set, but we'll just call it here at Your Furniture Center now. Frank, uh, you have a lot of things going on, including a big clearance sale. Big clearance sale, running up to 75% up to off. Wow. Well, it's that time of the year that the purchases that we've made back in the spring are starting to come in. We're celebrating the... Well, this is supposed to be another manufacturer, but this will work also. This is the Serta that's on sale right now. <clears throat> the old saying is, I want my Serta. We've got it on sale from the 3-3 three, three size up to the king size. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what we're running here. We're going to get down the Premier uh, if we can. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> get a little bit closer here there we go this is our premier line now this is just to the ralph emory bunch our viewers here in the nashville area of the ralph ralph emory oh i thought you're talking about that too in the, no in the i'm talking about the viewers <laughs> six months no interest come in and come in and see our premier broyhill collection line everything we carry is a special order program of our higher end merchandise but you also mentioned this is your 65th anniversary 65th anniversary with the spring air bedding as well as uh, we're also recognized in CERTA as well. Oh, you are? Well, that's good. Where can you find uh, all these great deals? 1717 North Gallatin Pike, 3748 Nolensville Road, 344 Whitebridge Road, right down the street down here. Call 834-0797. We'll tell you exactly which store to go to. Oh, okay. Have a good day, Frank. Thank you. Shut up. Thanks very much, fellas. It's a minute before 6 now here on this Monday, Ralph Emery Show. We have uh, a day that is probably, I, I guess, the end of the rain for a little while, at least uh, in the first forecast we saw. Keith didn't add any rain. Keith, uh, uh, we didn't eventually get all the severe storms. I guess we didn't expect too many heavy, uh, too much heavy storm activity over the weekend, a lot lighter than originally anticipated. Is that right? Well, it did, Dan. Well, we were expecting some uh, fairly heavy thunder bumpers over the weekend, but just didn't pan out. A little thunder, a little lightning, some rain, but uh, nothing of any significance. Here's a look at the past 24 hours. Yesterday, a high of 78. This morning's low 57. We, we've got thunder right here in the studio this morning. 48 hundredths of an inch of rain during the past 24 hours brings our monthly total to 58 hundredths. 16.54 for the year. We're behind by 2.78. Currently, cloudy skies, 57 degrees. Northwest winds at 10. Barometric pressure rising. Relative humidity, 75%. Here's a look at our... Uh, satellite photo, 5 o'clock this morning. Still plenty of cloud cover over the eastern half, actually the eastern two-thirds of Tennessee. Uh, things should clear out, though, later on this morning here in middle Tennessee, and we should have a nice sunny day. There's a closer look at the southeast. 
And you see some heavy thunder showers. As a matter of fact, there's some severe thunderstorm warnings out for the northwestern part of Florida and southern Alabama and adjacent coastal areas this morning until about 11 o'clock. Expecting some fairly heavy uh, thunder showers down that way this morning. As a matter of fact, that's right where Jerry Whitehurst is vacationing right now. I, I planned that. I, I swear I did. There's a look at our radar map, and there's a look at uh, those heavy thunder showers moving into uh, the Destin, Florida area. And also some scattered showers over through the eastern part of Georgia and right along the eastern seaboard this morning. There's a look at our current map situation. There's that frontal system. It has moved through Nashville now and given us a, a cooler morning. And we'll head on over to East Tennessee today. There are some showers aligning right along that front uh, over along the Cumberland Plateau, as you'll see on our radar in just a moment. But they should be short-lived. The frontal system should move on through. And all the heavy sh showers and thunder showers should be over along the eastern seaboard today. There's a look at temperatures this morning. It's 53 in Memphis. That's the coolest temperature I could find, Memphis and Jackson. And 63 this morning over in Knoxville, sort of a reverse of the, uh, who's the coolest and warmest this morning. Today, we'll see scattered showers and thunder showers, some of them possibly severe, especially through the Carolinas and through down through Georgia and northern Florida. Some thunder showers extending up into Pennsylvania. Back behind that, a few rain showers with some snow up through Minnesota and Wisconsin. Uh, we'll eventually break out in sunshine here. Some rain with snow in the higher elevations out through the central and northern Rockies up through the Pacific Northwest. There's a look at uh, high temperatures today. 60s and 70s will do it to, across the volunteer state. We should be right around 70 for a high today, with 80s pretty much confined to the deep south, southern Texas, back through California, with 90s out in the desert southwest. There's a look at Weatherbank, 52 in Bowling Green this morning, 54 in Clarksville and Dixon, 53 in Waverly, 53 in Jackson, 57 in Gallatin, Cookville, Murfreesboro, McMinnville, Tullahoma, and Columbia, 58 in Shelbyville. Here's a look at the radar. We're scanning in a 150-mile radius this morning. There's that shower activity I mentioned that has uh, uh, just recently popped up on the radar, extending from Columbia up along old I-40, right, uh, right around Lebanon, then extending on up into the central part of Kentucky. 56 degrees here on the hill at WSMB. Forecast looks like this. For Nashville, partly cloudy skies today. A high right around 70 degrees, and we'll see northwest winds 10 to 15. Going to tend to keep it a little bit cooler today. For tonight, fair and cool, a low of 45, northwest winds at 5. Then for tomorrow, sunny skies, a little bit warmer, 75 for the high variable winds at 5 to 10, and a low of 47. The extended outlook calls for partly cloudy skies each day, 76.51 on Wednesday, 77.56 both Thursday and Friday. That's a look at the weather. Keep the umbrella handy areas east of here, but here in Nashville, I think the rain is over. Now back to Dan. Very much, Keith. Appreciate it. Three minutes after six, folks, let's head to the news studio. And now with the news, here's Sharon Puckett. Morning, Sharon. Thanks, Dan. Good morning, everyone. Vice President Dan Quayle could be acting President Quayle for a while today. It all depends on medication that's being prescribed for President Bush's irregular heartbeat. Doctors hope the medication succeeds in restoring his natural heart rhythm. But there's a chance doctors might have to stimulate the president's heart with a shock procedure known as electrocardioversion. That would require Bush to undergo general anesthesia, in which case he would temporarily transfer presidential authority to Quayle. District of Columbia officials are investigating a violent disturbance between an angry crowd and police in a largely Hispanic neighborhood. Police say about 150 youths pelted police officers with rocks and bottles and set five police cruisers on fire last night. At least 10 officers were injured. One critically, eight people were arrested. A police spokesman said the incident began when an unidentified man was shot in the chest during an arrest. Federal and airline officials are looking into the cause of a collision between a Delta jet and a van at Atlanta's Hartsfield International Airport. The crash occurred last night after the plane had landed, touching off a small fire on the ground. A Delta spokesman said the fire did not involve the airplane. Four passengers suffered minor injuries while evacuating the plane. Thunderstorms and rough weather are hampering relief efforts for millions of survivors of the Bangladesh typhoon. Relief workers say they fear the death toll will rise sharply. More than 125,000 people have died since last Tuesday's storm, and at least 10 million are homeless. A spokesman for the worldwide aid group Care International says he doesn't see how Bangladesh can avoid one of the biggest cholera epidemics of the century. The astronauts aboard the shuttle Discovery are planning to come home this afternoon with their Star Wars experiments behind them. During their last full day in space, they took time out to commemorate the 30th anniversary of America's first manned space flight. 
It was 30 years ago yesterday that Alan Shepard took a 15-minute suborbital flight. We'll have more news in about 30 minutes. Dan? Thanks a lot, uh, Sharon. Uh, appreciate it very much. Let's head upstairs right now with our first traffic report this morning, and here's Richard Thomas. Richard? Well, good morning, Dan, and good morning, everyone. Right now, we've got one problem, and it's been out here for a long, long time with the construction work. Old Hickory Boulevard and Bell Road between I-65 and Brentwood and the Hickory Hollow Mall area. So if you travel uh, out there, be sure to pick up a little extra time. That's Old Hickory Boulevard and Bell Road in the construction between Brentwood and uh, Hickory Hollow Mall. If you're going to be traveling in one of the other interstates around Nashville, they're all looking pretty good right now. Matter of fact, you're coming in from the north side of Nashville, 65 in good shape, all the way from Rivergate to downtown. It's not bad at all. East of the city on either 40 or 24, 65 up from Brentwood looking good. And if you're going to be traveling in from the west side of town, west end Charlotte, I-40, all looking good so far this morning, too. Interstate 440 in pretty good shape. No delays either way you want to go. And right now, don't have any wrecks or stall cars. I'm Richard Thomas for WSM Radio's Flight 650 with the Ralph Emery Show's early morning TV traffic. Richard, thanks very much. That's Richard Thomas with the first of two traffic reports on this program today. Every day on the program Monday through Friday, and he's also on AM 650 WSM the rest of the morning and also this afternoon. Some good looking pictures there with uh, Richard's uh, traffic report this morning. Six and a half after six now here on the program, and it is time to head over and finally get the hearts on. They have been cooling their heels in the bullpen for a little while. Y'all doing okay? Real good. Good. Real good. It's a very sharp outfit you have there, Jill. Thank very you. colorful. Is there any any um, thing in there? Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> now let them get out of this room. Uh, Dan, the whole band just finished discussing that previously, and we've decided there is something in there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Can we roll the tape back, please? Uh, Jill, what I really meant was the... the I understand. There's... That, oh, no, I got a 10 on that remark. Oh, no, and a 1. I'm awfully sorry. What I meant was the, uh, the artwork. If maybe there was some... Um, <laughs> What do you got for us this morning? We've got Blame It on Texas. We, we, I beg your pardon? You blame mean? it on Texas. Blame it on blame Dan. It on Dan. Oh, that's all right. And uh, Brad, I'm not even going to start on your clothes, okay? <laughs> just, just sing something. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the hearts. a ball since I was a boy in Beaumont. I love that town, but I just couldn't stay. Two steps all the way to Amarillo. I shuffled my way into Santa Fe. I just had to see the sunset out in Frisco. The Golden Gate is great, but it ain't home. Give me your rodeo. Blame it on Texas. Don't blame it on me. I am what I am, and that's what I'm gonna be. And you can say what you want to say about my insanity. Blame it on Texas. Don't blame it on me. in eastern Oklahoma Her daddy was a Tulsa millionaire Four thousand miles for your wealth he leave her Well all a man could have want was a waiting there For one night while she lay sleeping I slipped away Like no man in his right mind would do Blame it on Texas, don't blame it on me I am what I am, and that's 
what I'm gonna be. And you can say what you want to say about my insanity. Blame it on Texas, don't blame it on me. And you can say what you want to say about my insanity. Blame it on Texas, don't blame it on me. The Hearts. Nice job by Brad and Jill Hart. Thanks Thank very you. much. Good sounded tune and a real peppy one this morning. Uh, it's moving along. It's 11 minutes after 6 now here on the program. So we move along to uh, our next uh, next sponsor. Coming up in just a second, not just a second, but coming up shortly, we'll have today's pet trick. And today's pet is Naomi Ruth the cat. And Naomi Ruth does impressions. So we'll have that on in just a little while. So stay tuned. Right now, though, let's head over to um, the fellas from Boot Corral. Take it away, Joe. Tommy. Yeah, Joe's here. I'm, I was good in the picture <laughs> somehow or another. And he's got some great deals from Boot Corral. And uh, doing this a little bit different today because you really want to point out some of the values right. that you have. Let's just go right here this morning. Uh, we do have a vast majority of boots in our store, over five or 600 styles and brands. We're here this morning to talk about Justin Boots. We have the lot. The real popular boots now, the Justin Lace-Up Boots. We got these for men's, women, and now, that's children. That's kind of a, that's a new line, then. It? It's a it's a lace up. It's pretty popular now, especially among the the girls. And we they're ninety nine ninety five, and our Justin Ropers here are eighty nine ninety five. We got men's, women, and children's, and our our snakes our snakes over here in the middle. We got those down to one seventy nine ninety five. Those are back uh, pythons. Got a very good selection of snakes. Now, now what is this? That's a lizard. And that's, uh, is an ostrich? that's a yeah, full quail ostrich. Got a very good selection of those. I didn't bring all the colors. We'll have uh, four or five different colors also. Now, not only do you have boots, uh, but you have a vast selection in clothing as right. well. The Western style Western clothing. Western clothes. We got uh, Kenny Rogers, Tex Sam, uh, Wranglers, Pan Ano Slims, Carmens, and the, I have the brush poplar over there. I have one of those on. And we sell the heck out of our Wrangler jeans to men's and women's, and they start at seventeen ninety five for the Wrangler jeans. Now, where are you located, sir? Uh, I-65 North, next to Kmart in Goodlesville. Y'all come see us, Boot Crowd. Good, the movie's starting. Oh, I hope she remembers to walk the dog. I'm sure she will after she left him out in the rain the last time. Yeah, she's learned her lesson. <laughs> sure. Right. Let's, Let's call. call. With South Central Bell's call waiting, you won't be frustrated by busy signals or miss an important call. Honey, you did walk the dog. It's perfect for life's little emergencies. Uh, I don't think it's necessary. Make your life a touch easier. Call on us. Order now and save the 2350 connection charge. Introducing a new carpet that's so radically different, it's designed to stay beautiful. Even if you walk on it. New traffic control. The carpet specifically designed to fight matting. And here's where you can buy it. Nashville Carpet Center has traffic control at special sale prices. Save now on this revolutionary new carpet at Nashville Carpet Center, 515 4th Avenue South. New traffic control from where they did carpet. In my new kitchen, this is a major appliance. So I'm calling Rentronics. I need a big frost-free refrigerator and a really good washer and dryer and uh, a new range. You mean I can get a full-size washer and dryer or a GE refrigerator for less than $20 a week? All right! That was fast. And while I rent to own, service is always free. So why don't you call Rentronics now? A few pictures for you, birthdays, anniversaries, and such. Here is a happy birthday wish to Michael Mitchell. He is 10 years old on April 27th. Most of these are over the weekend or belated. April 27 here for Michael Mitchell, handsome guy, third grade, Trinity Elementary in Franklin, Tennessee. This comes in from his mom and dad. They are Tom and Joan. Happy birthday to you, Michael. Here is Carla Davis. Carla is seven years old. She sure is a pretty one. Her birthday is on the 27th, and uh, hap happy birthday wish comes from Mima and Papa. They love her very much. Dorothy Smith in Salina, Salina, Tennessee. Happy birthday to Carla. She has really, real pretty blue eyes, doesn't she? 
Here's a happy 65th birthday to Bob Stewart. Bob lives in Madison, Tennessee. His birthday is on the 27th, and the family wishes him the best. And that also comes from his friends and from Billy Lineman. Also, here is a, a uh, picture of Adam Abston, A-B-S-T-O-N, one year old on April 27th. He is the son of Freddie and Michelle Abston. They uh, live near Burksville, or I'm sorry, they live in Bow, Kentucky, and that's near Burksville, Kentucky. Babysitter is Helen Harden, and she's the one who sent the picture in. What a cute little boy. Here is a picture of Mark Danny Herndon. Uh, Mark Herndon is uh, celebrating his birthday on May 3rd, and he is six years old and lives in Clifton, Tennessee. Happy birthday to you, Mark. Mark goes to the Tennessee School for the Blind. They want us to know that, and he must be a very sharp student. Here is Amanda McGill from Hermitage, six years old, on May the 3rd. Look at that happy smile. She is a kindergartner at Tulip Grove School in Mrs. Hartsfield class. Uh, her mother, Bobby McGill, sent it in. Hello to folks on the show, including Tom Grant from Bobby, and they're a big fan of his. Here is Michael Kelly. Michael celebrates his birthday on May the 3rd, six years old. Is that a, I can't figure out what that is he's holding, but, oh, is that a fishing, fishing line? I guess he's a big fisherman there. Uh, his parents are Bobby and Linda Kelly, sent in by grandparents, Mamma and Peepa, happy, ha Papa, they, Papa they call him. Happy birthday to you, Michael. Here is Eric Armstrong. Eric is seven years old, and his birthday happens on May 3rd in the first class at Mrs. Miles' class, Big Sandy School. Son of Randall and Sharon Armstrong of Big Sandy, Tennessee. He's got some handsome blue eyes there. Looks like a great personality. Happy birthday to you, Eric. This is a picture of Elizabeth Moody. Happy birthday to her on May the 4th. Elizabeth is celebrating her 100th birthday. Now, you look at that lady and try to convince me that she's 100, and you're not going to, not going to do it. She is really attractive. Happy birthday to her. She looks like she's ready to maybe hop on her motorcycle and head out on the road for, uh, for a beautiful day. Here is uh, a picture of a cute little girl that I met in Watertown, Tennessee over the weekend. I got to ride the Broadway excursion train from downtown off to Watertown. And this cute girl here uh, met me along with her uh, very nice parents. She is Amanda Lawson. And Amanda is celebrating her fourth birthday on Tuesday of this week, I think. And she is, uh, she's a big fan and obviously a very cute girl. From Watertown, happy birthday to Amanda Lawson on her fourth birthday. She, I asked her how old she was and she said, she said this. And then she goes, boing, and showed me four. Happy birthday, Amanda. Here's a picture that uh, has come along with the letter that uh, we weren't able to read uh, on the air anyway. So, and, and we had trouble uh, making, uh, making out the, uh, the writing there. Uh, so here's a birthday or anniversary picture of a very nice looking couple. I'm just sorry we uh, don't have the information to uh, pass along to you. And here is Brenana Bird. Brenana or Brenana is from Lobelville, Tennessee. This is her first birthday on May the 4th, and isn't she a doll? Look at that. Little Easter bunny and the little Easter eggs and all. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, sweet 16, to Jill Courtney. Jill Courtney Dillard. With love from Mom, Tony, and Jason. She's a very attractive lady. They live in West Nashville. Happy birthday to Jill Courtney Dillard. Here is a happy 50th birthday to the principal, Mr. Hooper, from the faculty and students at Buchanan High School in Murfreesboro. They love and appreciate him very much, and doesn't it show? Uh, <laughs> they say on the back of the picture, doesn't he look good for his age? But uh, I just really can't tell through all of that uh, shaving cream. They must, they must really enjoy him. Happy birthday to you, uh, Mr., uh, Mr., Mr. Hooper. Thank you. Here's Dusty Jeff. Dusty Jeff uh, is 10 years old with a birthday on May the 6th. He goes to Richland School, Giles County. Happy birthday from Grandma, Jason, Joshua, Houston, and Mom. Dusty Jeff, happy birthday to you. Looks like a real nice guy. Here is a picture of Jimmy Dutton. Jimmy is 12 years old on May the 6th. He lives in Holiday, Tennessee. Obviously, obviously a 
ball player for the local Yankees team. Happy birthday to him. Here's Wendy Marie Reddy. Wendy Marie is 15 and a half years old, 10th grade. Her birthday is on May 5th. Um, her parents are Frank and Jan Reddy of Columbia, Tennessee. She's a very attractive girl. Happy birthday to her. Here is Leslie Kristen Mosley, attends Westside Elementary, 5th grade, birthday on May 5th. She is 11 years old in Springfield, Tennessee. Mom, Cindy, with love, sent that along. Doesn't she have pretty blue eyes? A very lovely complexion. Happy birthday to Leslie. Here's Cindy Moore. Cindy is 16 years old on May the 5th. She lives in Cookville, Tennessee. Goes to school there at the Cookville High School. She is in the 10th grade. We just have one picture after another. It's very, very attractive young ladies here. Six, yeah, a lot of sweet 16s here. Here's another sweet 16. It's Cindy Moore. She goes to Cookville School also. Her birthday on May 5th. And Mom, Dad, Christy, and Michael sent this picture along. Happy birthday to her, too, as this attractive list of, of ladies continues. Dear Ralph, please wish Ashley Smotherman in Spring Hill a happy birthday from her mama and daddy, nanny, papa, Jennifer, and CW, Brittany. Uh, she will be two years old uh, on May the 5th. Tommy and Norm, they are big fans of hers, and, and uh, she uh, would like to hear them sing happy birthday. But we're running short on time, maybe you can just render a final line there to her, Tommy. Uh, we'll get... Uh, one more picture here from Lawrence T. Perry of Goodlettsville. He's celebrating his 72nd birthday on May the 5th. Mr. Perry, his wife is Joyce, Goodlettsville, sister and brother-in-law, uh, Dallas and Geraldine Craighead of Whitleyville, Tennessee. He gets called Grandpa Jones because he looks an awful lot like him, they say, from folks who don't know him. He does have some similar looks there. Attended East High School in the mid-30s. Happy, happy birthday to you, Lawrence Perry. Uh, those are all the pictures, and a uh, happy birthday wish to Carrie Ann Irwin, who is 16 on May the 1st, and Betty Duke on May the 4th. She has a birthday, and Betty Kimbrough celebrates on April the 28th. And from our May 5th and 6th list, Nan Lynch of Ashland City, 100 years old today. Ms. Lynch, happy birthday to you, and congratulations. Best wishes. Tommy? Uh, Dan, I was uh, in Dover, Tennessee over the weekend for cystic fibrosis. Mm -hmm. And I uh, met a lot of people who watch the program, and uh, they enjoy the Rock Freeman Show, and they're excited about what you and Norm are doing on Saturday morning yeah. as well. Uh, what I'd like to do is say uh, good morning to uh, Marilyn Tipton and Laurel Tubbs, and they work at the Irish Grill. So if you're looking for some great catfish, it's on Highway 70 West, just, as, just inside Dover, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Great place, great food. Uh, Meredith uh, Rollins, um, Carl Fitzgerald from Paris, Tennessee. Um, Happy birthday uh, to Jim Smith at Big Rock. His birthday is May the 6th. Randall Riggins uh, is 30 years old today. And uh, Ron Gross, May the 11th, is his birthday. Now, what I'd like to ask, if anybody who lives in and around the Stewart County area, if you would be so kind as to consider the possibilities of making a contribution to, to the cystic fibrosis uh, chapter there, you can send it to P.O. Box, Box, I'm sorry, P.O. Box 92, Dover, Tennessee, 37058, and if you will send that in the name of Cassie Bell, um, Mr. and Mrs. Maddox, her grandparents were there, Cassie, I think she's five years old, and as you know, there's no cure at this point for cystic fibrosis, and one out of every 20 persons is a carrier, and I didn't know that until I went there, mm -hmm. but the people were extremely kind, I enjoyed it, and uh, Imogene and I had a great time, and Ernest wants to say hello to Dodd and Jenny at First American Bank at Harding Mall and tell them that uh, he's coming out right now. Let's go to Frontier World for this message. He's well, serious. Furniture World is the largest independent GE appliance dealer in Middle Tennessee, and that saves you money. A GE wash and dryer, only $4.99 or $39 a month. A GE 14 cubic foot frost refrigerator, $3.99, only $29 a month. And a GE 30 inch electric range, only $2.99 or only $19 a month. There's free delivery, free hookup, and instant in-store financing. Furniture World's price guarantee will be at any price on any item we carry before you buy. Or this RCA big screen is yours for free. Furniture World, Williamson Square in Franklin, and now in Nashville. At Foodmax, we don't just claim to save you money. We show you what you're saving with discounts on pre-priced items. Take this bag of chips. It comes with a price already marked. That's what most stores charge. But at Foodmax, we discount that price. 
And we do this every day with every pre-priced item in the store. Let us show you how much we can chip off your food bill at Food Max. Because you work hard for your money. Another Home Depot certified advantage. Computer color matching. Hold on, did you say computers? Right. Our optical computer will match any color perfectly in just 60 seconds. Well, that's great, but are we talking the best brands? We'll use our very best paint, Bear Premium Plus. Just bring us any sample, anything, and we'll guarantee a perfect match absolutely free. At Home Depot, low prices are just the beginning. With 46 standard features, including air conditioning, the full-size Buick LeSabre stands out from the crowd. But one unique feature makes it stand tall above the crowd. Buick LeSabre, ranked the most trouble-free American car. No wonder LeSabre is Tennessee's best-selling full-size car. Now, for a limited time, Buick's offering extra LeSabre savings. Buy now and get up to $1,400 cash back. See your better Buick dealer for the most trouble-free American cars and LeSabre cash back. Petrix coming up after the news. Hang on, 26 after 6. Frankie Staten's here this morning. Frankie, good morning. What do you got? Good morning. Got? I have a dedication this morning to Curtis Keel. What is it? All right, now y'all know I can't tolerate it this morning. It's Monday. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd like to say good morning to Curtis Gill. He's the youngest Gill brother. They used to sing on WSM. Radio. He was a good friend of D. Fort Bailey's and his wife, Diva. They've been married for 38 years.
It was 1966 when Aretha Franklin sang it for the first time, and it sounded just as fresh and new this morning. Thank you, Frankie Staten. Nice job. 6.30 here on the Ralph Emery Show for this morning. Joe Ben is here. You doing all right? I am doing fine. From Ruth. Alexander Ford. Here to talk about Fords, Lincolns, and Mercury this morning. Let's hear about it. <clears throat> As our ad saying there that we are going to move. Our building's almost complete, and we're moving in about a week. Picking it all up and sure, moving Sure, we're just going to move it up the street. All right. But before we do that, we're going to have to sell several new oh. and used vehicles. Okay. Like this right here. We've got a brand-new Escort loaded up with air conditioners, AM, FM cassette, power steering, rear window defroster for a low price of $189.95 per month. Next is this 91 XLT Ranger pickup trucks, air conditioner, AM, FM cassette, cast aluminum wheels, sliding rear window, and you can drive this truck home for only $169.95 per month. Next, we have 10 1991 town cars, Lincoln town cars, that discounted up to $5,000. So in our next selection, our next section there, we have a good selection of pre-owned vehicles. We've got several vehicles to choose from. Mm -hmm. So come on down where we sell them cheaper. Yeah. Alexander Ford Lincoln Mercury, 755 Northwest Broad Street in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Thanks, Joe Ben. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey everybody, it's me, Bob. I'm here with my faithful companion, George, to tell you about the Crystal Chili Pup. It's cute, like me and George. It's an all-beef, crystal-sized hot dog sitting on a freshly steamed bun smothered with great taste in chili. And if you like, they'll even throw on some real cheese. You know, from Wisconsin. So, George, what do you think of the Crystal Chili Pup, huh? He's jealous of the dogs. An allergy attack can start small. Itchy eyes, stuffy nose. But before you know it, your allergy is full grown. <laughs> That's when you need Dimatap, the allergy medicine. If it was any stronger, you'd need a prescription. Maximum strength Dimatap Extend tabs work for 12 full hours. It's the way to relieve the congestion and sneezing of a full grown allergy attack. Dimatap, relief for the full grown allergy attack. Thinking of waterproofing your basement or crawl space? Choose the company with 96,000 references and a lifetime warranty. Be smart. Be dry. Call us today. If that doesn't show you why we call it Action Pack Pigeon Fords, then call us for some information that will. It's free, and so are the Great Smoky Mountains. Y'all come see us. If drinking's become a problem in your life and you don't know where to turn for help, call United Way's helpline. 269-HELP. 27 before 7, and it looks like a partly cloudy day. He says around 70 for this afternoon. Right now, time for the news. Here's Sharon Puckett. Morning, Sharon. Thanks, Dan. Good morning again, everyone. President Bush remains hospitalized this morning at Bethesda Naval Hospital. And if drugs don't work, then a quick electric jolt may be needed to restore Mr. Bush's heart to its normal rhythm. Doctors plan to evaluate the president's condition this morning before deciding whether to use the shock treatment. The president would be under anesthesia for the procedure. Vice President Dan Quayle would then become acting president during that time. The Space Shuttle Discovery is homeward bound this morning. It's scheduled to land this afternoon at Edwards Air Force Base in California. The mission has been plagued with mechanical problems, but it's ending with most of its work accomplished. The deputy director of the Star Wars mission said despite some early problems with two data recorders, the crew completed about 99% of its defense experiments. A severe storm advisory has been reinstated in Bangladesh, where thunderstorms are holding up relief efforts. Last week's typhoon left more than 125,000 people dead and millions homeless. And now the Weather Bureau says winds could reach 70 miles an hour in this new storm. It's news that is heartbreaking for one family from Bangladesh who live in Nashville now. Their relatives are in Bangladesh dealing with the destruction. Laura Brooks reports. This is real bad. Whatever they, saw, they see in the TV, this one is real bad. Shaheen Hossein has lived in America with her family for eight years. Her husband is a kidney specialist completing a fellowship at Vanderbilt Medical Center. They are both from Bangladesh. Shaheen remembers a storm much like last week's typhoon that hit her homeland 20 years ago. I remember a little bit. I saw lots of, we live near the river. I saw lots of dead bodies passing by rivers. 
after three or four days. And I remember my dad was alive that time. He get some of them and bury them near my our house. Shaheen says last week's typhoon was much worse. Her two and a half year old son doesn't understand, but it worries Shaheen more than she could express to us. Her three sisters and her husband's entire family are in Bangladesh. I have feeling that they are they are alive. Sometimes I feel like maybe they are not alive, but I try to feel that they are alive. Laura Brooks, Channel 4 News. Shaheen Hossein wants to start up a local relief fund. She'll be calling her bank today for help. But there are other relief funds available if you'd like to help. One of them is the Prime Minister's Relief Fund. You can send donations to the Embassy of Bangladesh, 2201 Wisconsin Avenue Northwest, Suite 300, Washington, D.C., 20001. And donations can be sent to the American Red Cross. That agency will forward anything it receives. That address is P.O. Box 37243, Washington, D.C., 20013. The Red Cross asks that you put the words Bangladesh Relief Fund on the envelope. U.S. troops are pushing further into Iraq this morning. They're on the outskirts of Dahuk. Allied commanders say they expect orders to enter the city soon. It would be the deepest Allied penetration into northern Iraq to expand the security zone for the Kurdish refugees. Finally this morning, he described it as the mother of all homecomings. That's how General Norman Schwarzkopf felt about his hometown welcome yesterday in Tampa, Florida. His report. General Norman Schwarzkopf exchanged salutes with his hometown of Tampa in a celebration that was four stars, three colors, and two themes. Welcome home and thanks. He is the greatest. I got it here. <laughs> Big man, you're the greatest. As much as his hometown was there to recognize him, he was there to recognize them. We have been called the thunder and lightning of desert storms. And we may be the thunder lightning of desert storm, but you're the heaven from whence we came, and you're the silver lining of our welcome home. Singer Lee Greenwood, Mickey Mouse, and All America, it seems, wants to stand and be counted with an American hero. This summer, Norman Schwarzkopf will retire from the military to conquer a new field somewhere else. And here in Tampa, people have their own ideas of what he should do next. I haven't seen a hero in many years. The country really needs one. And now this country has found one. Mark Strassman for NBC News, Tampa. And that's news this morning. Back to you, Dan. Thanks very much, Sharon. That was quite an inspiring finish there. Uh, Sharon will be on with uh, news updates all morning, and then I hope you'll join Sharon and me at 11 for the scene at that time. Hope you'll join us then. Uh, by the way, uh, since Alan is in the studio, I thought I'd mention if you stayed up late to watch the end of that Seattle-New York baseball game that was on ESPN, how many dozens of innings did that go? It was like 18 or so, but Seattle beat them with a two-run homer uh, last night. Yeah, traffic time. Let's head on up there. It's brought to you by Bonanza. Here's Richard Thomas's second report. Good morning, Richard. Good morning, Dan, and good morning, everyone. Right now, I'm flying out over the uh, Bellevue area. And traffic out here is moving fairly good. Uh, on Interstate 40, it's not bad on uh, West End Harding Road or Charlotte Pike. And to folks that are going to be coming in uh, to the construction or maybe driving through the construction out in the uh, Brentwood area and from uh, Brentwood over towards Hickory Hollow. Of course, we're talking about Old Hickory Boulevard and uh, Bell Road. There is construction work continuing through that area. It's going to continue, it looks like, probably all the rest of this year as they widen Old Hickory Boulevard and Bell Road from the Brentwood area over to Hickory Hollow, so give yourself a little bit of extra time if you travel that area. Well, if you're going to be traveling in uh, any of the other interstates around the city, 65 North still looking pretty good all the way into downtown, just a few cars up around the uh, Trinity Lane area, still not bad at all east of the city on either 40 or 24, and uh, not bad coming up from Brentwood, still looks real good uh, once again out on the west side. Don't have any wrecks, don't have any stalled cars at, uh, at the moment, there is some light rain out to the uh, southeast of Nashville, moving away from us, and I don't think it's going to come over into the Nashville area, so we should stay nice and dry this morning for rush hour. I'm Richard Thomas for WSM Radio's Flight 615 with the Ralph Emery Show's early morning TV traffic. How can you tell if you're getting a good deal at a restaurant? Actually, in your price value arena, I find the fluctuation of your fork into fork out ratio is the uh, most reliable economic indicator. 
Right now, get Bonanza's tender T-bone dinner, including our Fresh Tastics food bar, all for only $5.99. Therefore, despite the devaluation of your hard-earned dollar, factor in your freebies and you get a good deal here at Bonanza. Bonanza, where the extras don't cost extra. Richard Thomas's second traffic report, mornings here on Channel 4, brought to you this time by Bonanza. He's also available on AM650 WSM, mornings and afternoons. 20 before the hour, word from McDowell Tire. That's right, Skip is here and he's got uh, a great box of things. Do you want to say something special yes, to somebody? Yes, I sure friend? do. I got a happy birthday this morning. My grandmother is happy will be 86 birthday. years old today. We want to say happy birthday to Mama Fife. Happy, happy birthday, birthday many, many more to come. Mama Fife. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Okay, we better pay some bills now, hadn't we? Yes, we bet. You know, for the last 47 years, McDowell Tire has been located at 15th and Broadway selling passenger tires. We have got some super good deals, starting off with this Grabber, our AP tire. This fits a 235, 75 by 15, which fits your vans, your pickup trucks. Right now, this tire is marked down to $84.95 with a $7 and a half rebate back. If you buy four tires, you get a total of $30 back rebate. You know, this also comes with our XP2000, our $30 rebate. These tires are high-performance tires. They start with a T-rated, an H-rated, and a Z or a V-rated tire, all at McDowell General Tire, you know. And what about that service? I tell you what, it's the time of year to get your summer tune-up, so to speak. There you go. Uh, summer physical for your car. That's You've got right. everything you need. That's right. You know, from air conditioning repairs to brakes, shocks, all front-end repairs and all this you can find at McDowell General Tire at 15th and Broadway. We'll take care of your bus and truck, too. There you go. Technology, the light that will lead Tennessee into a better tomorrow. It attracts new business and industry, which means more jobs. It enhances medical services and makes everyday living a whole lot easier. But most importantly, technology improves education for our children, the keepers of our future. We believe our investment in communications technology is vitally important to everyone in Tennessee, and we're proud to bring it home to you every time you pick up your phone. South Central Bell, call on us. I was worried that I needed surgery for my hemorrhoids, but my doctor said they weren't serious, and it's time I used Preparation H. New Preparation H cream helps shrink swelling of inflamed hemorrhoidal tissues and often relieves pain, itching, and burning for hours. New Preparation H cream. Every second of an asthma attack can feel like an eternity. That's why there's Primatine Mist. Primatine opens clogged breathing tubes in as fast as 15 seconds. Primatine Mist, the fastest type relief known. Some days I stand in front of my class and I see certain students who have obviously had too much booze, too much partying, and too little sleep the night before. If you're the parent of a high school student, exercise your responsibility as that parent and set limits. Teachers need your help because it's hard teaching someone who can't even hold their head up. Channel 4 Stand Up for Education, presented by Blockbuster Video for the family. Well, folks, it's 17 before 6. Here's what 7, rather, you've been uh, waiting for. It's time for the pet trick today. And this is Annie Lori Hardy. Annie, good morning. Good morning. Where are you from? Nashville, here in Nashville. Good to have you with us. Thank and you've you. brought Naomi Ruth. A very scared Naomi Ruth. <laughs> She's an awfully pretty cat. Uh, and you're planning, uh, she does impressions? Mm hmm. Of uh, different animals and, um, well, a few things. And when we think impressions, we think of, uh, you know, does she do Ed Sullivan, Jimmy Stewart? Uh, no, she does Baby Bunny. Baby Bunny? And Widow Wham, um, Kitty Foo, that's her Chinese oh. kitty. And a bug and a half bug. I see, so she's not, is she a singer? Well, when she, never mind, sometimes. Okay. okay, well let's get a close-up here on this beautiful Naomi Ruth and see what she does. Okay, the first one's going to be the Baby Bunny. She'll let me do it. There's a little Baby Bunny. <laughs> Here's the Widow Wham, oh. this way. Yeah, there red you go. Wham. Toward, the, toward the camera with the red light. And there. this is Kitty Foo. Oh. And this is <laughs> Bug. <laughs> All right. That's half Bug. Uh huh. And let's see if we can get Vicious Dog out of her. I don't think we're going to get Vicious oh, Dog. Oh, she doesn't. No, doesn't I want think to we're going to just going to get a scared cat. All right. Well, there's uh, there's the impressions of many a critter by <laughs> Naomi Ruth. There, and what a pretty little cat, too. I'd pet her, but she looks like she's in one of her more frightened moments. Yeah, yeah. 
Kids okay, from let, the humane let, shelter. Oh, from the humane shelter? Uh huh, an adoptee from the humane well, that's shelter. That's very nice of you to take care of her. Well, let's go More to the people. band now and see what the rating is. <laughs> the ratings four, five, five, six, uh, four, four, and five. And Alan is uh, totaling those scores right now. And folks, you, of course, will want to write down Naomi Ruth if you're putting that toward the other contest as our guest uh, pet trick today. Little Naomi, she's a soft one, isn't oh, she? She's like a little bunny. Yeah, real cute. Looks like she has her little claws uh, ready to go, though. That's why the pillow. <laughs> all right. Okay. You send it all. To, uh, score 33 today for Naomi Ruth. Send uh, the entries to Ralph Emery's Stupid Pet Trick Contest, Box 444, Nashville. 37202. Coming up tomorrow, folks, uh, a Yorkshire Terrier that despises housework. She'll attack a vacuum cleaner right here on this program. How about it, Keith? I hate to follow these acts. I really do. Yeah. Never follow an animal act or children. You yeah, good point. Show business rule. Here's a look at the past 24 hours, Dan. Yesterday, we had a high of 78. This morning's low 55, and we had uh, about a half inch of rain, 48 hundredths total past 24 hours brings our monthly total to 5,800th of an inch. 16.54 for the year. We're behind, but 2.78 inches. Currently, it is partly cloudy, and we have a temperature of 55 degrees. Uh, gone down a couple of degrees since the last we talked. Northwest winds at 10. Barometric pressure rising. Relative humidity, 75%. Here's a look at our major map features this morning. Cold front making its way across the state, and it is being felt. As a matter of fact, temperatures in the west are cooler than they are in the east, which is usually just the other way around. But 53 this morning in Memphis, 63 in Knoxville. As you can see, that does make about a 10 degree difference as uh, one side of that cold front to the other. We're going to struggle to make 70 today. I think we will make it, but uh, it uh, probably won't be 70 long. It'll be in the 60s most of the day. There's a look at uh, how we expect things to shape up today. Some very severe weather possible down uh, through northern Florida, Georgia, up through the Carolinas, on into Pennsylvania as that cold front moves on into that area. But uh, as for us, we should see partly cloudy skies before the day's over. Uh, matter of fact, should see quite a bit of sunshine today. And the uh, rain will extend back up into the Great Lakes region with some snow up through Wisconsin and northern Minnesota. Also some rain, snow in the higher elevations from the central Rockies up through the Pacific Northwest. There's a look at high temperatures today, 60s and 70s for Tennessee. It looks like, though, uh, we'll be right around the 70 degree reading here in Nashville. 80s down through the deep south, back through southern Texas, and out through California with the 90s in the desert southwest. There's a look at Weather Bank, 52 in Bowling Green. It's 54 this morning in Clarksville, Dixon, 53 in Waverly and Jackson, 57 in Gallatin, Cookville, Murfreesboro, Columbia, McMinnville, Tullahoma, 58 in Shelbyville. Here's a look at the radar. We're scanning in a 150-mile radius. Still have this line of showers, and again, I think it's going to be short-lived once this frontal system moves on through. But now they're extending from Murfreesboro on up to just almost to Cookville, say up around Carthage and then extending on up into south-central Kentucky. 55 degrees here on the hill at WSMV. Forecast looks like this for today. We'll go with partly cloudy skies. As I say, we'll struggle to make it to 70. Northwest winds at 10 to 15. Then for tonight, fair and cool, about 45 for a low. That's definitely jacket weather. Northwest winds at 5. Then for tomorrow, sunny, a little bit warmer, 75. A low of 47, variable winds 5 to 10. Then the extended outlook calls for partly cloudy skies Wednesday through Friday, 76-51 on Wednesday. 7756 both Thursday and Friday. That's a look at the weather. Have a nice one. And now let's go over to Central Paint and Body Shop. Where are you? Oh, it's on tape. Well, time out for this, and Dan will be right back. Cal Bubba dudes, Bubba Skinner and Rick here for Central Paint and Body Shop. Stay tuned to find out who that is. Hey, at Central Paint and Body Shop, we have the skilled technicians and the equipment to fix your car properly. At Central, with the help of the car line, we make a wrecked car like this look like brand new again. Boxy but good. Hey, at Central, our body work is guaranteed as long as you own your car. We'll help you with the old pictures, too. Paint them up real nice. This is Raymond and Betty Connolly from Central Paint. Hey, at Central Paint and Body Shop, we're located at 511 2nd Avenue North, right across the street from the Metro Sheriff's Department. Department. Why are more people switching from their banks to Tennessee Equity Mortgage for a home equity loan? Mr. and Mrs. Hap Hall wrote, Your customer first attitude and unbeatable rate earned my business. And from Terry Henley, we didn't realize how much interest we were paying on charge cards. Consolidating with your lower tax deductible interest was great. You have our personal guarantee. We will beat anyone's fixed rates, and we will never have any hidden fees or penalties. 
Today's fixed rates start at 8.95. Application by phone, 371-1177. Tennessee Equity Mortgage. Watch carefully. What you are about to see is fast, very fast. Let's see that again. When the Pennzoil Special is racing at 230 miles per hour at Indy, its engine needs all the protection it can get. And that's what it gets with Pennzoil. The same straight-off-the-shelf Pennzoil quality that goes in your car. On the road or on the racetrack, nothing performs like Pennzoil because nothing protects like Pennzoil. Pennzoil, ever since America learned to drive. It was 1966 when a few dedicated people had a far-fetched idea about treating alcoholics. No one believed they could do it. But with a gift of land and the gift of grace, Cumberland Heights was born. Now, more than two decades later, it continues as the area's most respected alcohol and drug treatment center. And still today, the only investment it ever makes is in you. Folks, Sharon Puckett has just let us know that uh, the report has come down that uh, President Bush will not be receiving any of that shock treatment today. They haven't said for sure that they won't do it at all, but at least it is not expected to happen today. I want to thank all the folks up in Watertown for a great uh, greeting. Our Saturday morning show boarded the uh, Broadway excursion train that left downtown at 8 o'clock Saturday morning and headed out to Watertown. And did we get the red carpet treatment? If you saw us Saturday morning, you know how nice the folks from the Cumberland Railroad uh, group uh, 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 paid to us and also the folks from the Broadway dinner train. That is some outfit, and if you all haven't ridden that yet, that's something you should look into. It's an awful lot of fun. Special thanks to Terry Bebout and to Gene Turnage for their help with all the uh, train ride. And out in Wayne, out in uh, Watertown, Mayor Mike Jennings and Postmaster Edsel Floyd. He's also the head historian there. Uh, he he does the uh, Baptist choir, uh, Baptist choir at the church there, and is also a former mayor himself. They really showed us around, introduced us to so many of the folks. Had a great meal over at the Country Barn, and do they cook it up good there? Tommy's shaking his head yes. It had to be the best banana pudding I've ever had. Man, that was good. Uh, and also, <clears throat> uh, Paul Petty is there at the uh, restaurant. Nice folks. And also, met a nice man on the train. His name was Leon Witt. Leon is in his 80s and spent over 40 years working on the railroad as a fireman and an engineer. And I got to sit next to him all the way out there, and he shared some great stories, especially the one that he was the final engineer on the Hummingbird passenger train that ran from here down to Birmingham. That's the one where they used to blow the whistle on WSM radio in the afternoon. He was the last man to run that train. He was really quite a special treat to me, and best wishes to him and his family today. Let's pick up some more sports info right now from Joe Fisher. What a great sports weekend we had. The fourth LPGA Sara Lee Classic is now history. This one has most likely produced the most popular winner of the past four years. Hall of Famer Nancy Lopez opened the final round at the Hermitage Golf Course yesterday with a one-shot lead over Chris Monahan. Nancy would lose that lead before the day was over, although she did start the day playing rather well, hitting shots like this one very close to the pin. Nancy had been playing some of her best golf in a long time, and with shots like this, you can see why. And even when she wasn't exactly accurate with the shot, she did get a couple of breaks now and then, like this one that rolls up and hits the flag stick so she's able to save par. There were those who made their charges. Sherry Steinhauer at one point was eight under par for the tournament, faded back to seven under after a final round of 73. The real charge came from Chris Monahan, who played well on Saturday and then the round yesterday, at one point reaching 11 under par, taking the lead away from Nancy Lopez, but she bogeyed a few holes down the stretch, settled for a final round of 70, which was eight under par, very close, but not quite close enough to win the tournament. Still a good effort out. I got it to 11 under, and uh, you know, I thought if I could ha hang on to it and keep it at 11, that that would uh, you know, probably win the tournament, but uh, just made a couple bogeys coming in and gave it away, actually. That's not totally true. Lopez rallied herself, went, uh, scoring birdies on 15 and 16, carrying a two-shot lead to the 18th hole, so she was able to just lag it up close and then tap in for the victory, a victory that was celebrated not only by the fans, but an unidentified uh, fan who had a little bit of extra for her. Now, she's almost three months pregnant, but uh, still moves pretty well trying to get away from the champagne. Didn't quite make it, but didn't mind the celebration.
to win this tournament, um, you know, it, it was a goal when I started, and, and of course, you know, playing as well as I did the first day, um, it was just, you know, I was on my way, and to be able to fight it off, because, you know, when you haven't been in that position very much, you feel a little pressure, and, you know, I kept taking deep breaths before every shot, so I was definitely relieved when I finished. It's Lopez's 44th career victory, earning over $63,000. She dedicated the win to her close friend, Heather Farr, that's to remember being treated for kids. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate that report. There was an awful lot going over the weekend, so that's going to have to hold us for right now. Down to a couple minutes in the show, and so, Tom, just close it out with your commercial. That's right. We've got about five minutes left here. We'll get a good commercial on this morning. Thank you for saving me some time there, Dan. Yeah. Let's see what we've got to start Monday out for all the people out in Middle Tennessee, Southern Kentucky, Bowling Green, Glasgow, Tompkinsville, all those good towns, Scottsville. Bedroom furniture. We're going to talk about bedroom furniture this morning. We're going to uh -huh. show you three suits, Dan. At six hundred and ninety-nine dollars each, three suits. We got it in the oak. See that oak, nice mm -hmm. oak suit there, six ninety-nine dresser, mirror, chest, and bed. Mm -hmm. Coming up, the cherry suit. This is cherry dresser, mirror, chest, and bed. Look at that high post bed, six ninety-nine. Yeah. R pine, a beautiful pine suit. Look at that headboard there, bookcase headboard with a mirror in it that matches uh -huh. your dresser. You get the dresser, mirror, chest, and bed on that for six ninety-nine. So three great suits. At six ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Also from our living room section, this is Burke line, push button recline recliners on each end of this sofa. Reclines on each end. Just push a button, it kicks right out there for mm -hmm. you. Sofa, five ninety nine. Love seat, three ninety nine from Burke line and DT McCall and Sons, and your recliner for two ninety nine. So Dan, you can see we're starting the week out right. Mm -hmm. Great specials from DT McCall and Sons. That's Carthage, it. Thank Lafayette, you, Tom. And Good Bowl. Bill. Good day. Give us that Goodbye. nice full number two five five. Four, four, six, six, four. Let's one, go. four. Appreciate all your business out there. Get back roll to it, us Brad. next week. Here we go. We're going to roll it. The largest and finest boot store east of the Mississippi is right here in Middle Tennessee. Everything you need in Western wear and over 20,000 pairs of boots, all under one roof at the Boot Corral. You'll love the comfort and style of Texas boots. Texas boots are handcrafted in Tennessee from the best leathers and exotic skins. Texas Boots, America's bootmaker. The Boot Corral is simply the best. The best selection, the best prices, and the best service. The Boot Corral, I-65 exit 97, next to Kmart. Some supermarkets charge as much for this pineapple as Food Lion charges for this pineapple. This lettuce may be on special at some stores, but for the same price, you'll probably get more lettuce at Food Lion. Whether it's a bunch of broccoli or a mouth-watering watermelon, bigger is often better for your pocketbook at Food Lion. So whether it's cabbages or asparagus or strawberries, remember, you get more green stuff for your green stuff with Food Lion's extra low prices. One year and ten months ago, the Southern Olds family doubled the factory rebates and sold to the walls. Now, get ready for the incredible. For a limited time, the Southern Olds family will triple the factory rebates on Cutlass Supreme, Sierra, 88 Royale, 98 and more. Take triple the cash or take stock in America with up to $3,000 in U.S. savings bonds. But you must act now. When triple cash rebates end, it's over and will not be extended only at your Southern Olds family dealer. Folks, coming up on the Saturday show this week, it's our Elvis Day. We are looking forward to having a really fine Elvis impersonator. We've got uh, Jimmy Velvet bringing stuff over from the Elvis Museum. Should be a nice time. Hope you'll join us on Saturday. And if you want to be here in the audience, give us a call at the front desk at 353-4444. We'd like to have you. On the train, I met a couple women named Nancy and June. They claim to be old high school sweethearts of Ralph's. Oh, it's time to go. Piano and Techniques keyboard exclusively provided by American Keyboard Gallery under the giant American flag in the Hickory Hollow area. 